on the 19th day of Vlogmas finale brought to you week three of Vlogmas. Okie dokie, I am just about to sit down with my doggies and give them their advent treats. And I can't tell you guys how they have loved this advent calendar. I have never seen them get this excited for treats before. And they, as soon as I said like, ooh, advent treats, and I grabbed this box, they went crazy. So I'm gonna try to give them these lovely treats. Um, and because I'm a bad mom, I forgot about it for a couple days again. So we have a few here. So I think we missed yesterday and then now we have today. So let's open it up. Okay. I feel like you think you can open little bags. <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, 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 these ones are the ones that stink like fish food. That's garbage. There you go. I don't have any more. <laughs> Was that good? Do you guys? No. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. <laughs> no, did you just swallow that? Okay, you dropped it. <laughs> okay, okay, one more, one more. Okay, here it is. Nope, that's garbage. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Oh yeah, these are the stinky ones. Okay, so I'm getting ready to wrap some gifts for my family that live overseas and I'm going to get them wrapped and put in their postal boxes and get them sent out. And since I'm pretty sure that no one is watching this particular vlog, I can go ahead and show you what I got. So obviously I'm the aunt that buys the books, right? So for my nephew, I got him a big old Where's Waldo because I mean, what kid and quite frankly, adult doesn't love Where's Waldo. So I got him this book. There's activities in it as well. So I thought that would be super fun. He's going to be six, so he'll love that. And then I also got him a little surprise Toy Story little figurine guy. And then for my niece, who is has just turned eight, I got her some little books to read. So I thought that would be cute. This one is Snow Sisters. I've not heard of this, a little young for me, but it looked really pretty and I thought she might like them. Then for my brother, I got a book called America's Hidden History, Untold Tales of the First Pilgrims, Fighting Women, and Forgotten Founders Who Shaped a Nation. And this is by Kenneth C. Davis. If you read this, let me know because this actually looks really interesting. I might try to find this for myself and take a look because I love that kind of stuff. So I got that for my brother. And then for my sister-in-law, I ended up getting this Catherine Stedman book, which looks like a New York Times bestseller and a Reese's book club, which that really means nothing to me, but something in the water it just looked really interesting it says aaron is a documentary filmmaker on the brink of professional breakthrough mark a handsome investment baker with big plans passionately in love they embark on the dream honeymoon to a tropical island of bora bora where they enjoy the sun the sand and each other then while scuba diving in the crystal blue sea they find something in the water i don't know i thought she might like that so i picked that up for her of course, all Barnes & Noble, I paid full price. Blech. So I thought I would wrap these up and get them sent off.
books that I ended up getting that I need to send out. I got for my other brother a Stephen King novella, which is Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. We're going to be reading this later in the year, next year. And then I got my sister-in-law a Ruth Ware book, which this one is The Lying Game, which I have no idea what this is about, but it says 17 years ago, four... 17 years ago, four schoolmates made a promise to keep a deadly secret, but now the truth is coming out. Ooh, so that sounds real interesting. So I'm going to send those off to them as well. So now that I have all of my gifts wrapped, I'm going to get them into my mailers and send them out and hope that they get them somewhere around Christmas. I guess we'll see. Okay, so I'm like really behind on the dog's poor advent calendar. They've probably been wondering where it has gone. So I'm going to give them several treats. Today is the 16th, so looks like we got a lot. Are you excited? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? No? Fine. You don't get any then. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? You want a treat? Can I have a kiss? <laughs> okay. Okay. Come here, Kingston. You want this or what? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, these are going to be the smelly ones. I can tell already. Can you be... Any... Oh, they smell so bad. What was that one? 13? 14? Ugh. They really do stink. Like, really bad. These... Oh. Okay, here you go. Hey, hey, hey. Can you sit? Getting better, getting better. Oh, I got some more. You better be chewing that, not just swallowing it. Oh, these ones look like little bones. Little bones. Okay, last one. Where is it? 16. Can you find it? These ones look different. These ones look like little hams. Little hams. Oop. You guys are being pretty good. Usually you're like attacking me. Oh. Like that. Here you go. That's it. That's it. All done. Okay. Done. All done. Shoot. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna help Angelia assemble her gingerbread house that she's making for her baking club uh, so far she's done a really awesome job putting it all together she's been doing it in steps and let me tell you at first we were really worried about her dough because it was rock hard but it turned out really good so now we're going to assemble the houses and uh, then tomorrow when she meets with her baking club, she gets to decorate it.
Okay, so this is probably a good time to end the vlog. It has been an unusual week. I feel like it went really slow in the beginning and then towards the end of the week it was kind of like, oh my gosh, this is the last weekend before Christmas. I need to get a lot of stuff done. I don't even have half of my decorations up. I felt like in the beginning of the month like I was on top of everything and now I'm like, wait a minute. It's literally next week is Christmas. Like next week is Christmas Day. I can't believe it. So anywho, I am still reading Mr. Miracle. Um, I don't have that much left. I have this much left. It's not that I haven't enjoyed it. I just have been kind of all over the place um, with filming and watching other people's Vlogmas videos and getting some stuff done around the house. My mom is actually here today um, and we are going to be making our Christmas cookies this weekend. So hopefully I'll get some filming in for that and show you guys what we like to make for um, the holidays. She wants to make these cocoa bombs this year. They're supposed to be really popular. I don't know. I'm not making any. But anywho, um, Mr. Miracle is uh, good so far. It's about a um, angel who for the first time has a charge and it's this young woman who's come back after being out of town for a while and she is helping taking care of her neighbor who she grew up with and they were kind of like cats and dogs. It's kind of like a enemies to lovers kind of trope. So, um, but so far it's been really nice and Christmas Carol is kind of interwoven into this and helping these characters learn life lessons. So, um, I've been enjoying that. This week, Laura and I finished London. Um, this chunkster of a book. It's almost 1,200 pages. We've been reading it all year. We're still trying to kind of decide what we are going to read for next year. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up reading like a series as opposed to just one book. Um, I know our I know Laura mentioned this on her video today too. Um, we at first thought we would just jump right into like um, one of uh, Rutherford's other chunksters, but realistically by the time we were done with this, we need a break. <laughs> um, it's just really heavy and a lot and it's a big book. I'm really happy. Um, one of the best buddy reads ever. Uh, so it, it was a really great experience. So we did finish that as well. Um, and then another holiday book that I finished uh, this week that I can't remember the title now. It's something like, okay, so that I don't leave you hanging. It's called Christmas at the Little Knitting Box, and that's by Helen J. Rolfe. Uh, it's part of a series I'm seeing because I immediately downloaded the next one, which is Snowflakes and Mistletoe at the Ingle... Snowflakes and Mistletoe at the Ingle Nook Inn. So it's a series. So I'm excited. I kind of just randomly found this on my Hoopla account and was like, oh, it's a Christmas, you know, romance. I'll just go ahead and click it. And let me tell you, I was so pleasantly surprised. Definitely four stars. It's about a woman who lives in New York City and she owns a knitting shop. And it, you, you find out in the beginning that, uh, that it's being owned by a new owner because she only leases the uh, shop and she might have to leave. And you learn a lot about her background and um, she's originally from England so she's contemplating does she go back home does she find a new space you know um, and the flip side is a man who um, we find has a ex-wife who kind of left him and his children and now is back in his life um, and him and the woman that owns the knitting box, they kind of start a relationship. Not not like a romantic one, but kind of friendly and then kind of get to know, to know each other. And let me tell you, the reason why I really love this book is, one, it really touches on that stepmother kind of idea. And me being a stepmother, it really just touched home for me. Um, not only be that stepmother piece, but also being a child of a divorce and then becoming a stepmother. So it just really connected with me because that's exactly my story. So it was really nicely done. Um, Additionally, there's a moment where it could have gone haywire for me. My least favorite thing in books is when a character knows something 
and doesn't want to tell the other character because they're afraid they'll get mad and then it comes out later on. In this, the person just flat out tells them. They're just honest and tells them instead of keeping it from them and boy, that is the moment where I was like, I'm going to like this book. I loved the honesty. It was so good. So if you're interested in a very um, warm, cozy uh, Christmas romance, then definitely check that out. Um, it was very, very good. So yeah, I think that's all. I am kind of all over the place. I'm trying to figure out what's for dinner and what we're going to be doing tonight before tomorrow. All the chaos will ensue with cookies. So um, until tomorrow, <laughs> I hope you are reading something great, taking care, and staying safe. And you know how it goes. Happy reading! Bye!